Look, we're going to have a scope of beats of Incrediment, and this is version 2. Let me know if you want me to ver cover version 1. We'll kind of work backwards this time. This is made by a very interesting individual with the name of Hanta Niao 44. I'll leave the credit to them down in the description below, as well as the mod so that you guys can check it out for yourselves without further ado i don't want to waste any more time let's get right in to the beats of incrediment before we do start but look at this cool cool out style it's it's a very 8-bit inspired mod but before we do continue further i just want to say we have a discord server so if you're interested the link is down below in the description make sure to check that out and i also stream every saturday at 1 p.m bst um, the more people we get into the stream, the more fun it will be, so I want to see you guys there. Apart from that, beats of Incredible, let's get right into it, bro. Alright, so as you can see, there's no bonus, but it looks really interesting and clean. It's got a very 8-bit aesthetic here. And it's weirdly color-coded, I want to say. Because, like, there's five melodies, right? But one of the melodies is differently color coded which is interesting at least to me anyway as always we're gonna cover the beats first five beats five effects five melodies and five voices off from that let's get right into the beats That is such a cool looking polo design as well. There's so much little detail in the pixels. I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much. Okay, so that was beat one. Very cool, very clean sound. I enjoyed that a lot. Let's get right into beat two. I also find it really cool how every single polo in this has been like pixelated. Even these guys with the the nipple dudes, as I call them, have been changed. I mean, so far, the beats have been pretty good. They're pretty basic, but that's what I'm looking for. Because once you put them together, it's going to sound really interesting and cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. I love the small delay on that, the vocal, and the design as always, again, so far has been really cool. This person knows how to draw pixel art is one thing I'm going to say for sure. Another very cool and interesting polo. It's literally just a tongue click, isn't it? It's just kind of like that. But all in all, the beats, the beats have been really good so far, man. I haven't really know what to say apart from the art style is absolutely awesome. Um, I love the 8-bit look of the mod, the sounds. The sounds are pretty incredible. Uh, this is probably my favorite beat because of the delay. And yeah, let's go into the effects. The effects... Uh, where it gets a little bit more juicy, a little bit more spicy. So let's get right into it and see how it sounds. Very cool, Polo. We needed a bass. Come on, we needed a bass. Every single mod needs a bass line, so there we have it. 
a very alien themed with the little helmet. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I wonder what that is. Is that like traffic lights or something along the lines of that? Sounds really good though, but is that an effect? It kind of sounds like a melody, doesn't it? It kind of really does sound like a melody. So I'm not sure if it's very fitting for an effect, but again, the design looks really cool. And I love the sound of it, so you know what? I'm not going to complain. I love that, but that's also a melody. It's not really an effect. But you know what? That might basically mean that we're going to have more melodies to cook with, which is a good thing. And it's very unique that it is doing that. So I'm not going to complain. Again, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to try not to complain. Oh, okay, so I've already done the two loops. This is a cool polo. Again, maybe what the mod creator did is create more melodies on purpose. Because that is, I've never, I never consider that. I always think people stick to that specific formula where it's like beats, effects, melodies, voices. But maybe some people are trying other things and going in a different direction and breaking those rules, which is really cool to see. Really cool to see. Okay, there we go. That's an effect. I think that's the first effect, along with the bass, in the entire pool of effects. It's a breathing sack of pores or something. That was kind of weird. That kind of weirded me out there. I'm not going to lie. Let's go to melodies now. Are the melodies going to cook? I hope they do. Uh, very weird. The design is really cool. It gives off like really dark vibes from the abyss. The abyss. But apart from that, a sick polo. Okay, that's a very peaceful sounding one that we can add in into the mix at one point. But apart from that, that sounds really good. Uh, I'm not sure about the design though. I'm not sure what it is. Again, with the bubble planted inside of the skull, it's kind of weird. Kind of like something grew in and through the head. It's very weird. It's giving off very weird vibes. But the sound is very peaceful and I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it for that. This one feels kind of like a, a grown version of this one, doesn't it? Like it grew into this this form after a while, which which again is very interesting. A very interesting polo design. The sound, not so much. It's just a plain old piano, uh, you know, just pressing one key at a time. 
so it's not really that impactful, but I'll try it into the mix at some point. Again, another lackluster melody. The design is hella creepy, though. <laughs> I'll give him that. The design is hella creepy. Like, I don't want to see that again. But we will see it. Probably. Most likely. Most definitely. But I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, the design... The, the sounds, man. I'm getting really picky about the sound design because all it's been is, like, a kid just... Going at a guitar one string at a time, like da, 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 da. it almost sounds like um What's that song? The wheels on a bus go round and round or something? I don't fucking know. But yeah, alright, Mel Melody five. Please be something more impactful. Damn it! I wanted it to be so much more than it ever was. So three of these are very lackluster. Man. Usually melodies are the peer resistance. Where is the the juice? Where is the jam? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just really passionate when it comes to these things. And I want to see it. Because it deserves more. It deserves more. This mod deserves more from the sound, so... I feel like, like you're going with an 8-bit theme. It's really dark. It's kind of got mixed vibes of space and kind of overgrown elements and kind of dystopian elements. You could have done more than just like a guitar, very simple acoustic guitar, acoustic piano, and what is that, like a harmonica or something? I feel like it deserved more than that. Hopefully, it makes up for that in voices, man. Because the effect... It's weird, though, when their effects feel more like melodies than the actual melodies themselves. Like, that fell backwards, which is a bit weird. But yeah, voices. Let's get right into voices. Enough of me yapping and complaining. Gone. That is very lackluster. The design is cool. It's kind of like a femme, femme girl or something. I don't know. I don't know what, what you may call it. An e-girl, bro. But the voice has almost a whole loop of nothing but air. <laughs> It's, it annoys me. It annoys me so much. And I haven't complained like this for a while, but... Oh, the designs are so good. Like, the design of the coat polo was so good. Just for the boys, voice to be like... Oh, oh. Like, come on, man. Are you kidding me? You can do better than that. You can do a whole lot better than that. What the hell is wrong with you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get some help, bro. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was fine. It was just a bunch of ghosts whispering. Up on top of a grave, I guess. Mm. 
Again, kind of more vocal effects, breathing of some sort. The icon design is really unfitting with the rest. Um, I noticed these last three, the designs do not fit the theme like at all. All of these kind of represent a piece of furniture or something like that. And then you have a circle with a cross in it. That's just not pixelated at all, which is a bit weird to me, at least anyway. All right, the final voice, please, man, please. Juice, juice it up. Okay, so that was probably the most impactful voice out of every single one of these. And that just says something, man. Like, like, there, should, there should be more. Where's the choir? Where is the awesomeness of it all? It's, it's lacking a lot in a lot of elements. Like, beats started off great. The effects were melodic very melodic you'd think they were melodies and then the melodies themselves are very lackluster and then the voices are like they're just for background like almost every single voice is for background which is so weird because i the, i want the mix to sound really good but i i think it's just gonna sound like there's something missing and i don't want it to feel that way i want it i want it to feel impactful and i want it to, to be able to generate different vibes and so far it feels like it stays within that one vibe um again it could be made by one person which then by all means this one person deserves a shitload of credit because they they worked on everything from the art to the sound to everything and it is a lot of work don't get me wrong but i feel like the sounds man the sounds are the key element to making a good incredible box mod like visuals are second to that but sounds especially in a in a game where you're focusing on making music it's you need good sound you need good sound okay before we get into this man i'm on the road to 10k you already know what i'm gonna say don't don't you don't you hit the red button please if you haven't already 90 percent of you i think it is 90 percent of you are not subscribed so it would help me out a bunch to get to 10k um as always yep that's all i'm gonna ask for at this point in the video i'm not gonna waste any more time let's get right into the mix peace out
And that was Incredibox, the Beats of the Incredible Man. What an interesting mod. What an interesting mod. Once they were put together, I guess it sounded a bit more complete, but it still lacked something more rhythmic. It it felt very retro, which I guess it's trying to do to stay to a theme, but there's more you can do. There's a hundred percent more you can do, like add some synths in there, some choirs or something like that. Just something more to fill the space, to make it feel more like it has more energy because it felt really bland in my opinion to listen to. But man, does the mod look so good. Like visually, it looks so amazing. Like it's like, it's so unique and creative. It's just so sad to me that the sounds are just not on par with that. Um, and I wish it gets there one day because it's still not a complete mod. By no means, they're still updating the mod. They're always making new versions and adding to it. And I'm really curious to how version one sounds. So in the next one, I might cover that as well. We'll see how it goes. Oh, but man, what an interesting mod as always. I'll leave a link down below in the description below, as well as who made the mod and any other bits of information you might want to find down there. Again, my Discord server is in the description as well. So make sure to check that out if you want to hang out with a bunch of people that love Incredibox and games in general so that you can get locked up in my basement. But nah, it's okay. It's okay. All right, as always, make sure to smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe if you are new. But that's all from me today. I'll see all of you amazing people in the next one. Peace out.